Hi there. In this video, I'm going to cover setting up different values for different app config parameters uh, per ASP.NET Storefront store. So I've got uh, store one here, and you can tell the difference because it's got the white background, and store two set up on its own skin with a gray background. And now what I like to do is add featured products to the home page. So right now we've just got a topic called Home Top Intro showing on the home page. Um, and you can actually add featured products down below that with an app config parameter called Is Featured Category ID. Uh, the way I got here was through configuration, advanced, app config parameters. And then you can just search for featured. And that'll bring up the app config we're looking for. Um, so for store number one, and in this case for all the stores right now, I'm going to add ID number seven. That's my bicycles category. And I'll save that and then go back to the home page of store one and refresh. And you'll see we've got some bicycles displaying here. And if I switch to store two, you'll see that the same category is showing. Uh, and they'll actually uh, change in random order, I believe, but uh, they'll feature that same category. So now what I want to do is switch it. Um, because on store two, rather than bicycles, I'm going to show cheeses from my cheese category. And I can see by hovering over that's category 28. So we'll go back to the app config parameters, or this featured category ID app config parameter. And for store two, I'm going to put in 28 rather than 7. And save that. And that'll actually create a store two specific app config parameter for this same app config. So now when I'm on store two and I refresh, you'll see I get my cheese category. And then back in store one, still got bicycles.